sorry. Yeah. How are you today? I'm good. You're good. Oh, where are you right now? You're not in the big shop? <laughs> in my house. You're in, in your house. Okay. So now here, let us have this test. Okay. So Muyan, we are already. Wait me for a minute. Wait me, Muyan. Sorry, I forgot. Okay, wait me. I will have Wait, 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 Mian. Oh my God, Mian, wait for a minute. Okay, oh, I will. Sorry, wait. sorry, yeah. Please wait me. Because I had, I had, uh, I was wrong. Uh, okay, sorry. I got the wrong Mian. I am so sorry. The one I downloaded is different. It's not it's not correct, it's wrong. I have to download again. So oh, sorry. I, I thought it's the correct one. Nothing, teacher. Yeah, yeah, please wait me, okay? Yeah. Because I downloaded the different one. It's not our lesson. Actually, our lesson, but the video is different. So what did you do in school? Oh, by the way, Nguyen, what's the weather in Vietnam? It's mm, yeah, in the field, it's in going to be the, very hot. It, yes, I have not to. Also, it's not also in, in Vietnam? Yes, but in the, the, the afternoon, have a rain. Ah, there is a rain in the afternoon. Okay, in the Philippines, yeah. it's very hot, Nguyen, as in literally hot. Okay, so you know what? Okay, the, uh, the voice of teacher is not good because I used to eat candy and then I was not able to drink, uh, drink, uh, I was not able to drink water, so that's why my voice is not good. And then also, teacher ants, with me. So let us have here Chris Nguyen. Okay. Wait, no, 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 not this one. 1. Listen and look. There is one example. This is a good photo. Did you take it? Yes, I did. It's a picture of my school friends on the river in London. We had an excellent day. Is that woman in the boat your teacher? The one who's wearing a hat? Yes. Her name's Sarah. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. 
Look at the swans. Aren't they lovely? And that's your friend, David, isn't it? Yes. He's giving them some bread. He didn't fall in the river, did he? It's dangerous to stand up in a boat. No. <laughs> and can you see May? Is she the girl next to your teacher? No. She's in the other boat, sitting next to the boy. Oh, I see her. Why does she look so unhappy? She had a stomachache because she ate too much ice cream. And who's that? The boy with the flag in his hand. That's Richard. Oh, has he got a rucksack on his back too? That's right. And that's Harry. He's writing a postcard. It's easy to see him. Why? Because he always wears that red football shirt. Every day? His mum washes it sometimes, I think. And look, there's Emma. Where? Sitting on the grass. She's putting the picnic things on the blanket. Oh, yes. Was the picnic the best part? No. We all enjoyed everything. Now listen to part one again. Look at the swans. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Aren't they? Okay, let us see here. Okay, very good. Wait me for a minute. Copying my in it. <laughs> okay, here. Yeah. Okay, wait. David is the boy standing, throwing the... Ah, okay, here. Correct. May is the girl sitting next to the boy. Ah, yeah, that one is me. Richard is the boy holding the flag. Where is it? Ah, yeah, very good. And Harry is the boy wearing the red T-shirt. Okay, this one. Harry is quite sad. Emma is the girl putting picnic things onto the blanket. Where is... Ah, yeah, very good. Okay, five points, Muyen. Okay, let us have this one. Wait me for a minute. Please, listen, Muyen girl. Muyen boy, sorry. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Mom, can we have a party for Dad's birthday? Oh, yes. That will be nice. But it must be a secret. All right. But when shall we have it? It's his birthday on Tuesday, but that isn't a good day for a party. How about Sunday? OK. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. We can have the party in the evening. The afternoon will be better, Peter, because you have to go to school on Monday. All right. What time can we have the party then? Half past three, I think. OK. How many people can come? Twenty? Not that many. Just the family and a few of Dad's friends. I'll make enough food for twelve people. Can you make a big square cake? And it must be green. That's Dad's favourite. I'll try. But you must help me too. There will be a lot of things to do. OK. Give me something to do now. Shall I tidy the dining room? No, you don't need to do that, because we can eat outside in this lovely weather. So, can you please tidy the garden? That sounds boring. I know, but we want everything to look nice, don't we? Yes. You're right. What present shall I get him? How about some new gloves? He needs some for his golf, and he's lost his old ones. But that will be expensive. Well, I'll give you some money. But you must cut the grass first. OK. Now listen to part two again. Listen again. Yes. We can have the party in the evening. 
The afternoon will be better, Peter, because you have to go to school on Monday. All right. What time can we have the party then? Half past three, I think. OK. How many people can come? Twenty? Not that many. Just the family and a few of Dad's friends. I'll make enough food for twelve people. Can you make a big square cake? And it must be green. That's Dad's favourite. I'll try. But you must help me too. There will be a lot of things to do. OK. Give me something to do now. Shall I tidy the dining room? No, you don't need to do that, because we can eat outside in this lovely weather. So, can you please tidy the garden? That sounds boring. I know, but we want everything to look nice, don't we? Yes, you're right. What present shall I get him? How about some new gloves? He needs some for his golf, and he's lost his old ones. But that will be expensive. Well, I... OK, so go again. OK now. Okay. So let us have this one. This is Dad's birthday. And there is a party on Sunday. Okay, you said, what time? Start at half past three. Or you said, OK, 3.30. And how many people? Well, I'm only teacher, not to have not to have only. What's the color of the cake? It is color? Green. It's green. Green. And tidy the, what you were going to tidy? The, the garden. garden. And present, what's the present or the gift? Uh, money. It's gloves, not money. <laughs> okay, next one. Now, listen to this. Lucy's dad had problems on the first day in his new office. Where were all his things? Oh, he lost all his things. So these are the things, and this probably the place that Lucy's dad put all his things. Okay, it's lesson no yet. Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. Lucy's dad had problems on the first day in his new office. Where were all his things? How was your day at college today, Dad? Oh, I had so much to do, Lucy. I had to move all my things to my new office, and everything was in the wrong place. I needed my phone to speak to one of the teachers, and I looked everywhere for it. Where was it? I found it under my chair. Can you see the letter G? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. I couldn't find my sandwiches because someone put a heavy book on top of them. Oh dear. Yes, I didn't want to eat them after that. So I had a pizza in the college cafe for my lunch. What other problems did you have? Well, some students came in and asked me for some glue, but I couldn't find it in my desk. I found it later in my bin with some other things. That was good. I needed my scissors to cut some paper for a lesson in the afternoon, but I lost them too. Then someone found them in a big brown envelope with my address on it. Oh, what a day. It sounds terrible. And guess what? What? I lost all the examination questions, too. One of the teachers came in and asked me for them. I must be more careful in the future, because they're very important. They were under some magazines. Dad? By four o'clock, I had a bad headache. I'm not surprised. I went to get some medicine but it wasn't in its place on the shelf. Then I found some in the cupboard with the tea and coffee. I took some and then left early and went swimming. I felt better after that. Good. It's always difficult to find things in a new room. Now where's my pen? Now listen to part three again. 
I'm finished, teacher. Okay. I couldn't find my and sandwiches then... because some. Okay, first is the phone. It's letter G. Yes, next, we've got the sandwiches. Where is the sandwiches? Oh, it's in the Bible, near the book. It's a Bible. And the glue is where? It's in letter in S. The... In the trash bin. And the medicine? Okay, I know scissors first, letter D, Nguyen. It's in the envelope. And next one, the exam questions, it's letter B. Yeah, it's near the comics. And the last one, letter E, it's the medicine. It's in the cabinet or in the cupboard. Okay, next time, please listen eagerly. Okay, this one, very easy. Part four, listen and look. There is one example. How are they going to go to the airport? Is Dad going to take us in the car to the airport tomorrow, Mom? It's expensive to leave the car there. We'll go in a taxi. That's a lot of money, too. Can't we go on the bus? No, we have too much to carry. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One, how many suitcases will they take? Are we going to take all the suitcases? No, I don't want to take the big green one. It's too heavy. You and I will have one each, and Dad will take two. So that's four. No, five. Don't forget your brother's suitcase. Two. What time does the plane leave? And when does the plane leave? Did you say half past twelve? Oh, you ask so many questions, Paul. No, a quarter past. And we have to be there one hour before that, at 11.15? That's right. Did you can I listen again? Okay, it's quite complicated. Part four. Oh. Listen and look. There is one example. How are they going to go to the airport? Is Dad going to take us in the car to the airport tomorrow, Mom? It's expensive to leave the car there. We'll go in a taxi. That's a lot of money, too. Can't we go on the bus? No, we have too much to carry. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. How many suitcases will they take? Are we going to take all the suitcases? No, I don't want to take the big green one. It's too heavy. You and I will have one each, and Dad will take two. So that's four. No, five. Don't forget your brother's suitcase. Two. What time does the plane leave? And when does the plane leave? Did you say half past twelve? Oh, you ask so many questions, Paul. No, a quarter past. And we have to be there one hour before that, at 11.15? That's right. Okay, number one. How many yeah. suitcases will be taken in the travel? You said five. Let's see. Correct. There are five suitcases. Next, what time does the plane leave? What time? It is letter B, 12.15. It's not 11.15. Okay, move to the next. Three. 
Where will the family have lunch? Will they give us some lunch on the plane, Mom? They don't have lunches on this plane. We'll take some sandwiches and eat them at the airport. Can't we have lunch at the hotel? You'll be hungry before that. 4. What must Mum remember to put in her bag? And have you got the dictionary and all the money we need? Yes. Everything is ready, Paul. How about the torch? We might need that at night. There might be snakes or spiders there. Oh, I forgot that. I must remember to put one in my bag. 5. What will Paul wear tomorrow? So, Paul, are you all ready? How about your clothes? Are they all in your bag? Yes, but not my jeans and best sweater. I'm going to wear them tomorrow. You'll be too hot in those. Wear your new shorts and T-shirt. But they're at the bottom of my bag. Oh, all right. I'll get them. I can't wait to leave. Everything Okay. So where will the family have lunch? Okay, in the restaurant. In the what airport. must mom remember to put in her bag? It's the flashlight. And what will Paul wear tomorrow? Correct. Very good, Noyan. Oh, you're very good with this. Okay. Okay, do you like the color or no? You tell me. You like? No. Okay, let's move to the next. Okay, here we've got doing the expenses. Okay, it's 48 because an hour ago we've got 48 Okay, so here. Now here, please write this word next to man, woman, man, or woman. Okay, can you write that? Okay, the man is king and husband. The wife, Nguyen, is wife and queen, the woman. And man or woman, it could be grown up, it could be kid. How about the manager? Where will we put the manager? We'll put the manager in the, the, yeah, in the man or woman. The manager could be a girl, it could be a boy, right? Right, Nguyen? Remember that? Yeah. Yes, very good. Okay, now look at here. So, this Nguyen, we call this as the picture dictionary here. So, we call this topic as the picture dictionary. Okay, now, right here in the family, okay, look at this. Okay, before that, 
We have okay. here we end the aunt, the baby, the bride, the brothers. Oh, please look at the picture. Doctor, father, granddaughter, grandfather, grandmother, grandson, groom, mother, nephew, niece. Oh, nephew is a boy. Niece is a girl. Like you are the nephew of your the sister of your mom. You're the nephew because you're a boy. Okay. Siblings. Okay. Brother and sisters. Sisters. Okay. Both sisters, girls. Son. Twins. And uncle. Uncle is a boy. Aunt is a girl. Okay. Do you understand this, Nguyen? Why me to take a photo of me, teacher? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Go, Nguyen. Take a photo. Okay, teacher. Okay. Please answer this one. Okay, ready? Please answer.
Okay. Oh my 